Klingo 1 on Hicksfield can relight your videos, replace specific subjects while keeping the original action intact, reframe your compositions to modify camera angles, remove unwanted objects, instantly shift color grades, and even extend your shots to any length. It has become industry first by integrating diverse video tasks into a single unified architecture. This is the only guide you would need to understand everything about its capabilities and hidden powers, so let's jump straight to Higgsfield and test its claims. Okay, let's put the image to video feature to the test. I'm going to upload two separate photos here, one for our character and another for the background city scene. Basically, I'm telling the AI, put this person in this place. I'll add a quick prompt, fix the settings, and let it do its magic. Check this out, the video is ready. It took those two static JPEGs and turned them into this. The movement here is so natural. The best part is the consistency. The character doesn't warp and the background stays locked in. This is definitely one of the best models for this workflow, mainly because it lets you use up to seven different elements to build your scene. Now let's look at video edit model. Clicking here brings up the main dashboard. On the right, you can see all the crazy use cases. You can relight scenes, swap objects, reframe shots, do smart cleanups to remove background items, and even recolor or keyframe your footage. Over here is where the magic happens. You can upload a reference video, and this is cool, you can add up to four specific elements or images you want to appear in the video. Down here, we have our text prompt and the settings to control duration and aspect ratio. Let's try a real test. I'm uploading this time-lapse video of the Statue of Liberty. In the prompt, I'm simply telling it, turn this time-lapse into nighttime. Don't change anything else. I'll leave the settings on auto so it figures out the best duration and hit generate. Since this is a brand new model and everyone is testing it, generation might take a sec. So while that runs, let's try a second experiment. I want to add something to the sky. I'm uploading an image of a bird as an element. My prompt is, insert the bird from image one flying across the frame in a time-lapse way. Let's generate this one too. Okay, result number one is back. We asked for nighttime. It followed the instructions. You can see it added the stars and changed the ambience to a moody evening vibe. It's not a pitch black night because I didn't give it extra reference images, but look at the stability. The camera motion is completely preserved from the original video, which is super important. Now look at the second result. This one is not that amazing, but it actually took that static image of the bird and animated it flying across the scene. It matches the picture perfectly. If you tried to do this in a video editor, you'd be stuck masking and blending layers forever. Here it just works, and the background video stays totally stable. Since there is so much hype around this model right now, I have to give it one more try. This time I'm not uploading any extra elements or images, I'm doing a pure text edit. I want to see how well it follows strict instructions. My prompt is very specific. I'm telling it to keep the camera, the subject, and the background exactly identical, but change only the sky to a dramatic purple and orange sunset. This is basically a masking test. In traditional video editing, swapping a sky behind a complex object like the Statue of Liberty takes a lot of manual work to get the edges right. I want to see if the AI can figure out what is sky and what is statue all by itself. Let's hit generate and see if it can pull it off. Okay, the result is in and honestly, the masking here is flawless. Look at the colors. It gave me exactly that dramatic purple and orange vibe, but the most important part, the Statue of Liberty wasn't touched. It didn't paint over the subject or mess up the camera movement. It knew exactly where the sky ended and the statue began. This is a huge time saver for editors. And here's a pro tip for you editors. Because this model kept the camera movement and the subject identical to the original video, you can use this to create perfect match cut transitions. If you want that tutorial on how to create an AI match cut for your videos, comment down and I will create that tutorial for you. Now let's test the text to video capabilities of the O1 model. You might think you can just type a prompt and go like with other models. I set it to 9 to 16 aspect ratio and gave it a detailed prompt about a woman in Times Square, walking through a crowd with a handheld shaky camera vibe. But here's the catch. When I hit generate, I realized something important about O1. It actually requires at least one image reference to start. It doesn't do pure text to video from scratch like the older models. So if you want pure text generation, you'd usually use the Kling 2.6 model, which I'll show you in a bit. But for now, let's stick with O1. To fix this, I quickly grabbed the stock photo of Times Square and uploaded it as my element. Now that we have our reference image to ground the scene, I'm keeping the same prompt, a candid, natural video of a woman walking. Okay, the first result is here. 
Even though we gave it a static photo of Times Square, look at how it followed the text prompt. It added our desired subject. The camera movement is exactly what I asked for, that handheld, shaky, natural feel. It doesn't look like a smooth, artificial drone shot. It feels like someone actually filmed it on a phone. The subject is consistent and the direction matches my prompt. Next, I wanted to test the start and end frame feature with a specific camera move. I used two different crops of a woman's face, a wide shot for the start and a super close-up of her eye for the end. I told it to create a subtle handheld zoom between them. Look at this result. It smoothly interpolated between the two frames. It started wide, zoomed in perfectly to the eye, and kept that natural handheld motion the whole time. This proves that Klingo 1 isn't just animating images, it's actually understanding 3D space and camera movement to bridge that gap seamlessly. Okay, so we saw that Klingo 1 is great, but it needs that reference image to kick things off. But what if you want to create something from scratch? That is where Kling 2.6 comes in. This is their latest model and the killer feature here is that it generates native audio right along with the video. I'm going to use the exact same prompt I tried earlier, a candid handheld shot of a woman walking through Times Square. I'll keep the settings on auto, make sure the audio is toggled on, and hit generate. And here is the result. This is honestly impressive. First, it nailed the handheld shaky camera instruction. It really feels like someone is walking backwards filming her. The lighting is super realistic and she fits perfectly into the Times Square environment. But the best part is it did all of this from just text. No starter image required. Plus, it generated the ambient city sounds to match. If you want pure creative freedom without needing source photos, Kling 2.6 is definitely the model to use. Now for the grand finale, let's talk about extending your video. I'm taking that clip we just generated of the girl in Times Square and uploading it back into the model. I don't want the clip to just end. I want to tell a story. I'm giving it a really specific direction here. My prompt is, continue the shot as the character walks towards the camera and sits on a bench. This is a hard test because sitting down involves complex body mechanics and usually AI models glitch out or lose the character's face during big movements. Let's look at the result. This is crazy. She walks forward, shifts her weight, and actually sits down naturally. But look closer. The jacket is the same, her face is the same, and the location didn't morph into a different city. It followed my direction perfectly while keeping the subject completely consistent. This is huge for creators. It means that you can literally build full UGC or B logs scene by scene. So is this the future of content creation? I think the results speak for themselves. You can literally build an entire story without ever picking up a camera. If you want to try these features yourself, go check out the Kling models on Higgsfield right now. I've dropped the link in the description. Don't forget to smash that like button if you learned something new and subscribe for more AI tutorials.